Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Muhammad Nushafiq bin Ibrahim and I will talk about the item that we chosen for this video. The item that we have chosen is Kain Samping. Kain Samping is one of the item that has many ge geometrical shapes that, that have been learned in our class geometry SMG3013. For the location of the Kain Samping, the Kain Samping was used by many men so it's hard to tell or to verify where's the location for this because many men use it as a traditional clothes during the Friday and we will talk about the origin for the kain samping which is in Malacca court which have been used by many Malaysian and Brunei people as a traditional clothes the usage and function for the kain samping is the first point is the intention to cover our lower body part because it's to show the respect to others and additionally it's also to cover our body during hot or a rainy season when it's freeze of course the ladies can also use it to cover their body fat and fasten it as a stranger uh, new appear near them and also to secure a newborn baby and lastly they also can use it during the old day to carry a heavy object for the size for this kind something as you can see below, its size is about 100 cm and for the length and for the wide is about 92 cm. Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Today I'm Rasaika Abdullah gonna explain about the geometrical concept of our objects, which is kind something. First of all, in kind something we have four types of geometrical shapes, which is the first one is rectangular. Second one is rhombus, the third one is isosceles triangle, and the fourth one is square. Let's start with the concept of geometrical shape rectangle. In this kind of something, I'm gonna talk about two characteristics of rectangle, which is the base and altitude, and the characteristic of parallel parallelogram in this rectangle. <coughs> this kind something a call uh, also rectangle in shape because it have different size of base and altitude which is the base of this kind something is 100 cm meanwhile the altitude is 92 cm why it's also called parallelogram because this rectangle have the same four sides of right angle how to calculate the area of this rectangle? The area of this rectangle are the sum product between the base and altitude. So, in this case, if we multiply the 100 cm of base together with the 92 cm of the altitude, we're gonna have the 9200 cm square, which is the area of this rectangle. For the next part, I'm going to talk about the geometrical concepts of rhombus. The first thing is, I'm going to talk, rhombus is also known as, is also a parallelogram because rhombus consists of two adjacent congruent sides. Another fact about rhombus is, it is also known as equilateral quadrilateral shape. What is equilateral and equilateral quadrilateral shape? It means it has the same length. All, all four sides of rhombus actually have the same length despite of the different shape of it. And another concept of rhombus is the opposite sides of rhombus is actually parallel to each other. Meanwhile, the perpendicular, uh, the the diagonals of rhombus is actually perpendicular to each other, and that is also why the area of a rhombus is half of its product between the diagonals, the two diagonals of rhombus. And in this kind of something, we can see that the diagonal of this rhombus is is 2.5 cm and 2 cm then from that we can calculate the area of this rhombus which is 1 over 2 times 2.5 cm 
and times 2 cm will equals to 2.5 cm square. That's all for the rhombus. I'm not finished yet with the rhombus. Actually, if we can see from this kind something, we have a few uh, patterns in a single kind something. It's also same with the rhombus, which is we have two sides of rhombus. The first one in the previous video, and the second one is in this one, in this video. This video, the rhombus size is 3.3 cm of diagonal and 2.5 cm of diagonal. Then, we're gonna get the area of rhombus is actually 3.75 cm square. The third one, I'm going to talk about the isosceles triangle. The geometrical concept of isosceles triangle is they have a same equal length of sides. And the opposite angles, or we also can call as base angles of these isosceles triangles, are congruent. From this information, we actually can calculate the area of isosceles triangle. What about the formula? The formula of this area, of the area of this isosceles triangle actually is half of the product between high and base. Then, from this kind something, we actually produce two types or two different sides of isosceles triangles. The first isosceles triangles have a size of height which is 6.7 cm and base of 4 cm. From that information, we can calculate half of multiplication between 6.7 and 4 cm is 13.4 cm square. Meanwhile, for the second isosceles triangle is it is consists of height 2 cm and base of 3 cm. And the area of tri isosceles triangle is 3 cm square. And the last part for 2.2 geometrical concept is about a square. In this kind of something, we have many patterns of square. But from the conception concepts of geometrical shape, we are no we know square is a geometrical shape that have all congruent sides. For example, if we have a box which is have a length of 1 cm and base 1 cm, that means it is a square because it has a congruent sides. Another thing about a square is it is also known as a parallelogram. But why is it called as parallelogram or known as parallelogram? Because all the four angles inside a square is actually right angles, which is 90 degree. The area of square also a much easier to find or to calculate rather than the other shapes of geometrical. Why is it happen? Because square uh, have all four sides congruent. Thus, the length and the base, uh, the length. Uh, the altitude and the base length are also same. When we calculate the area of square, it is actually a product between the altitude and the base. Thus, we also can search, can calculate it as square of a length. In this case of kind something, we have a length of the base is three cm. Thus, we can calculate it is as 3 times 3 or also 3 to the power of 2 and we can get the 9 cm square of area. That's all from me. I hope you understand my explanation. Thank you. Rectangle is a parallelogram that each angle is a right angle. It also can be called an equiangular quadrilateral because its opposite sides are equal in measure and all the four angles are equal to 90 degrees. The opposite sides of the rectangle are equal in length which makes it different from a square. 
the second shape is rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram that has two congruent adjacent sides since it has exactly four sides. Thus, rhombus is a parallelogram. So, in this diagram, you can see uh, where the rhombus one and rhombus. The third shape is triangle. Triangle is a type of polygon which has exactly three sides and has three angles. As a circle's triangle is a triangle which two sides of it are equal length called legs. The angles opposite the side that are congruent, which is the legs or called the base angles, are also congruent. The last shape is a square. Here in this diagram, you can see the square is a rectangle that has two congruent adjacent sides, and all sides are congruent. Since the opposite sides are parallel and congruent, therefore square is a parallelogram. A pattern is a design in which there are repeated lines, shapes, forms, or colors. The single repeating element, known as a motif, serves as the basis for all patterns. This kind of something has a variety of shapes that meet the criteria for converting motif into patterns. It can be seen in the table. In this kind of something, we got the shape of rhombus and got two types of rhombus, which is rhombus 1 and rhombus 2. And other than that, that kind of something have two shapes of triangle which is triangle 1 and triangle 2 lastly we got the shape of square and its pattern of square as a summary of part a we have we have explored a lot about one of Malaysian traditional clothes which is kind something we found that kind something has been used since a long time ago as it is used for various purposes nowadays kind something is mostly used for any event or ceremony Every design or pattern and, way, and a way of wearing kain samping is different for estates in Malaysia. And there are many sizes of kain samping according to the user's convenience. For part B, we realized that there are many geometrical shapes applied in kain samping. Each shape has its feature like its length, angle and the area as well. And all the geometrical shapes in this kain samping meet the concept of geometry that we have learned in our class. Each shape has its motif and the shapes are repeated to produce beautiful patterns on this kind of something. As a conclusion, there are many geometrical shapes that meet the concepts of geometry that we can find on traditional art material or things like kind of something in our culture around us. Besides, we can discover that the field of cultures that understand and use mathematics in daily life is growing. It contains knowledge that is rich in mathematics as well as interesting and educational cultural problems. The geometrical shapes form patterns of an object show the identity of a culture. Each patterns are different for every culture in Malaysia. We hope after doing this work, we will discover more about the unit of pattern that apply the geometrical shapes that we learn in class.